Hi guys, how are you? Um, I'm going to show a video that is um, close to my art. It is to do with Crystal. Um, she is um, suspected autistic. I'm not going to shake that fact. Um, one of the things that she absolutely loves is textures this is very sensory so what i said i would do on my tiktok um for you guys and people that are on my tiktok to come over and watch i said i would do a video on all of her sensory needs stuff um and so what i'm gonna do first is go through like all her sensory stuff and then i'm gonna go through like her sensory books um, so the first thing I'm going to show you is her, you know, this is a, um, Sento's for the dinner, for tips, uh, crayons and that sort of box. Um, and I thought it was great to see all the sensory stuff in. Um, so I'll show you what she has and then what she uses with these. So she's got, um, bag of pom-poms. Absolutely love these. Um, I am gonna go out. Um, even if it's on the way back from preschool Monday, um, I get some of these because she absolutely loved walking across the leaves today and hearing the crunch. Um, we've got beads. Um, this is little. These from came from Tesco's um, when they were in a pack of beads and buttons. Um, I have a big pot of buttons out in the kitchen, which she does run her hands through from time to time. Pom poms. Not too fast on pom poms. Just use them. Then here are. Here is the little. I need to change this out for the. Um, It's a little tub of rice. Um, you can see, she loves that. In here, this came from, this is mine originally, and this came from Entertainer. Um, we don't need it anymore, but you could go get a bag. This is House of Marbles on it. Like, over and over. I'm going to get a bag. And you can pick whatever marbles you wanted. And she absolutely loves these marbles. Um, there's loads in there. Um, and also, Corey, um, I think it's Corey, or maybe me, one Christmas, maybe me actually, from Christmas, one Christmas. Um, I've got like a set of marbles, so I've had them in there as well. So, yeah, she absolutely loves marbles. Here is the buttons and then you've got stars, circles, hearts that's it yeah flower shapes as well and then we've got these just walking to flying everywhere if you see them going across the screen um, we've got a bag of different kinds of feathers, which are also nice. And this is only, what, a quarter of the bag of feathers I got. Um, I, they're in the kitchen. Um, we've got a tumble dryer that we don't use at all. This is where all the century stuff is kept. And that is where the um, bag of feathers are. Um, so I just took a handful out when she... Really likes the feathers. We've also got some pasta. This is, I'll take one out of the you. This is kind of really pasta. It's one we get anyways, and it like, she prefers it. But um, what I might do is, I've got a bag of pasta, uh, a different pasta, and when we open that, I might put some of that in a bag as well. Yes, it actually. No, like, that's a pasta. And then a new one I've put in is cotton marbles. Um, I 
bit cobbles. This makes cut on wall balls as well. So, yeah. That is also a little sensory bag. Um, putting it all back with me. Then she has um, things that she uses as well. So this is my kinetic sand. And I think I'm getting her some for, for Christmas because she absolutely loves it. Um, she uses it on me in fact. She really likes kinetic sand. Um, and the kinetic sand comes with the, its own tray anyway. So for like on my I'm not actually because I can't like, so yeah, this is a little pot she's got a drawer of play doh. This is a pot of play doh, um the uh, unicorn play doh, unicorn shapes, um for if we go on that and about it's all impact all compact. Um, and then we uniform shapes. So, yeah, that's a, a sensory play doh. And then um, these are all bits that she puts the. Let me get rid of that one actually. Yeah, I got rid of that one, it's mucky. Um, these are things that she puts the marbles and the cotton wool in and stuff like that. So she, that one which has had sausages in it, but I've got to these out. These are, um, What are they? Uh, ice cream trays and it comes she says like pop it mummy. Which is so much I'm on to in a minute. And this is a sort of proof um chip and dip tray which likes sorting out the colours and putting them in. Um oh the from harms and the marbles. This had apples in it, so it's put different things in there. It's like pretending to make sensory cakes. And then this is the tray that she mixes it all up together in. So, I put it in a bag to make it easier to show you guys. Then, um, she has her own fidget bag. Um, I'm going to find her poppets a second, two minutes. That's so her friend, poppets. The other thing I got before I move on to poppets and fidgets is a educational insights um bag um uh teachable touchables it's called um and you get two of each and they're really really good they're um different textures and you get two of each so you get two of those two of those see the different textures two of these she loves this bag. It cost me twenty pounds, but she loves it. Fluffy one. Bean bag type. She said these are. These reminds me of a blouse my mum used to have. And these are more like bean bag type ones. Reflective mirror ones. See it again. Two leather one, well, pleather, they would be leather. Two leather ones, two black ones, and two of these spots on. And what she likes to do, because on the front of the bag, she likes to go, Oh, mummy, that match, and match that one up. And then go, Mummy, that match, and match that one up, and match, and match all three of the ones on the bag up. She says it's really cute. So yeah, I got that for when we go on a boat. Um, I will do a bag. Um, we went bowling with then It would have been a perfect opportunity to show you what we we had. But something happened the night before. And I can't remember what, but stopped me filming a video. And then I was going to do it the night we got back, and then I had a friend saying, "Well, I don't even really film videos of a 
with my friends around. So yeah, I've got that bag. So what I'm going to do, um, next time we go out, um, for the day, which might be in the middle of the next week, um, I will do a video and um, show you what we pack for her. So these are her pop. These this is her poppet. Um, it's like a um, shiny pink one because I had an orange one which she really likes. Um, and then these two are mine that got one from my best friend Charlie. Love you, Charlie. It's a unicorn and a butterfly, but she does use them. And then this one I need to put back on my handbag. This one came with a key ring that says I love you on it. And this is mine as well, but she just used them. She, like I said, she's got an orange one of them, but I don't know where it is. And then she has her own little fidget bag because she kept using mine. Um, and I realised that actually it might want to have her own. So I've got her, one of the things I'm not going to do because I really love it. She just chewed it all up, so I'm gonna buy her some new ones for Christmas. A marble and mesh. One of names, tapos. One of these rubber balls that was in a um, party bag. Sex to squeeze. Um, peep off. Which this one's actually upside down, hold on. Yeah. Little peepods. And um, yes, yeah, so you stick down, and it pings up. But she's actually been chewing it while she sits there like this. Like she's not, she has more in her bag, but she's scattered them everywhere. Um, so I'm gonna um show you my fidget bag in a minute. Yeah, that's uh, all she really uses. Um, I'm gonna quickly show you her books and then I'll show you my fidget bag because she uses some of the stuff out of that as well. So give me a minute. Hello, I guess. So we're in a different place now. Um, so here is where we keep... This is like normal pink. This is a sensory um, shelf and then down there is more normal books. So I'll just show you the dirty feeding books we've got basically. Um, I think she's got one in a bunch of them as well. This is a new one. Never touch her, and it's every single page, it's just a different texture of thing. She's got loads of these never touch ones, and I like if they get rid of them, you're too old for them. No, I like touching them. Fine. <laughs> so, that, that one, and then um, never touch sharks. Um, and it's got four different textures, and each time you move a page, one texture disappears. See? And then you're left with two textures, one texture, and then magically, I'm not sure how it happens. Oh no. I thought they were, yeah, they're all back at the front. See? So I've got that one, um, but she has actually got as well, which we'll see in a minute, never touch a shark. So these, she has absolutely loads of these. She has got um, a couple of Christmas ones, which are away in a minute, and I've got to get them out. Um, these, that's not my, because again, on each page, it's a different look. Claws are too shiny, you can't really see it, but on each page, paws are too smooth. It's a different texture, and she just loves loves it. She got a handful of these touchy feelings like that the other day. Um, so she's got, that's not my wombat. I'll quickly run through the ones she's got. Um, that's not my kangaroo. That's not my truck. That's not my narwhal. That's not my puppy. That's not my giraffe. That's not my snowman. That one didn't get put away at Christmas. That's not my bunny. That was a recent present. That's not my bus. I love that. I love vehicles. That's not my polar bear. That's not my bat. Two seconds ago. And then she's got... That's not my penguin. 
That's not my koala. That's not my lion. That's not my zebra. That's not my chip. That was a new stuff I said one That's not my llama. Um, that's not my unicorn. One of my favourites, that one. It's not my robin, another one that I forget. I don't know if I've got any one put away for us, actually. It's not my furry, and there are two I'm going to put a stock in. But, yeah. Oh, hang on a minute, I've got to put some back two seconds, guys. Then she has, sorry, I'm not coming. It's Peppa Pig, Touch from Field, Playbook. This is the Peppa Pig, um, Magical Creatures, and they've also got one which is Mysterio. Um, like underwater creatures, and again, different textures and stuff on each page. And she absolutely loves it, especially that one. That's just nice and soft. Then she has a collection of Never Touch A. But this is better storage for these. There isn't, so we've got Dumps Hedge Polar Bear, Dumps Hedge Hedgehog, I know you're wonky, sorry guys, keep looking at the camera. Um, Dumps Hedge Spider, Dumps Hedge Shark, there it is. Dumps Hedge Dragon, if I haven't already showed you that one. Never touch a tiger. That's the never touch one she's got. Um, then she's got a baby animal book, which again is all different types of touchy feely throughout. And then she's got two, uh, two big books. She's got one on tattoos, which again is different feelings on each page and then this is animal hide and seek and again it's um touch of feeding with flaps see so yeah and then the last one she's got to make for herself is this that you wolf um, and you each Page. You put your hand up in and it feels something different. As you can kind of see, because it's broke it. Um, different feelings. Some of them she don't like the feel of. Some of them she does. Um, but yeah, that's just her books really. Um, that she has for touch like sensory. So I'm now gonna turn you back right to where you were a minute ago. And show you what's in the fidget bag so you can just get a drink of whatever things she plays with. So, back over here. So, my fidget bag, this is just a baby and me bag. Um, and then uh, I've got a squeezy hamburger, a squeezy globe. One of these, she loves this. Snake. My other one of these, I've got a set, some, I've got a set two. In here is my little fidget toy. Um, I've got my fidget toys for anxiety, but if anyone wants to know. I've got one of these in my bedroom. My bicycle chain, if that's what they're called. And these are magnetic rings. And then one of these, um, you put it down and it pops up. Bird, dragon, uh, dragon, dinosaur. Stress ball, Fred. I think it is. I don't know. Some monkey noodles. My key, this is my favourite food toy. 
Gameplay. I call it the Game Pride, but or the Pride prediction. Another peapod, another monkey noodle, another dinosaur, my double fidget, fidget spinner, my other ring, a puzzle ball which I've never undone, a puzzle cube which I've never undone, another marble mesh. Another monkey noodle, the last dinosaur, my other frigid thing, different frigid things on, another bicycle chain, oops, a thicker monkey noodle. I um, man, a rug squeeze rug ball. Another stressy man, a puzzle ball, stress ring. Um, my clip thing. If you want to make it into a single, um, project spinner, and another bicycle chain. <laughs> Just let's go through and just no. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna get the second, the last one of these and show you what it does. So here we are coming up packs three crystal. This is what annoys me. Crystal. I bought crystal pack of blue ones, and she's lost them. I mean, the same with the tracking because a fidget bag was actually a green bag and it was in her room because that's her safe space on her bed. That's the thing. She also has meltdowns. If I do right. Yeah. Um, so she has meltdowns. She doesn't like the dark. Um, she doesn't like too much loud noise. She has to have um, air defenders and stuff. So yeah, they're my magnetic rings. So, yeah, that's why we say she's, um, autist, um, suspected autistic, because we don't know how to watch this at school. Um, and as you can see, guys, I've got my Christmas tree up, Christmas wouldn't put it up, that's why the phone was out. So, yeah, I'm going to have a new video, um, I just wanted to show you, um, even on... This is what we do, and if you've got any ideas or anything I'm missing that I could use for in the sensory box, please let me know. So, yeah, I'm going to leave you, and I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe. Never let anyone down. Bye, guys.